Yo, what's going on guys? This is Snape here and I'm back with a brand new video. Today guys, we're going to be talking about Bloodhound's upgrades. If you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So Bloodhound has four available upgrades that you can use as you level out throughout the armors. In level two, we have Tactical Cooldown, which will give you minus five seconds off of your tactical. Moving into Raven's Blessings, this will give you 25% ultimate charge with White Ravens. Moving forward, we also have in level three, Odin's Glare, which will give you double the duration of a tactical full body scan. And last Lastly, we have Taste the Blood, which will give you 25 HP on a knot whilst in ultimate mode. So what upgrades should we be picking? Which are the best ones to take? Moving straight into level two, I personally would be taking Tactical Cooldown every single day. Tactical Cooldown has been extremely useful because Bloodhound's Tactical is just incredible. The scan is just so useful, whether that is getting knowledge, whether that's using it to use vision through smoke, whether that is just to find out where rats are. It is a massive help in the team, whether that is playing as a solo or playing as an actual squad this is going to be so much more useful for than you than getting your ultimate a little bit quicker with the raven's blessing i really do believe that because i just think that the bloodhound scan is just so ridiculously strong and it is so good this season with the fact that we do get it five seconds quicker so personally hands down every single time tactical cooldown moving into level three their options are a little bit more difficult now you got to think to yourself what do you think would be best again i personally find odin's glare is still the better option and this is also once again going back to that vision back to that wall hacks you know being able to see people and seeing where they're moving to and keeping up that vision for longer this is going to give you that full body scan for double the duration which is really helpful so once again especially when you're pushing a person through smoke especially when the fact that we have no digital threats this season unless you're using a pk or a pistol so you're not going to be having as many people gaining that advantage over a bangle or smoke and that's what i really like this season with bloodhound as soon as you come up against the bangle or team you're able to scan you're able to get that vision for your team you're able to push with ease and it's so good the taste of blood is a very good idea i just find that the plus 25 hp on a knock is not actually going to give you that much of a blessing sure it means you could maybe push another fight a little bit quicker because you just have to focus on popping a battery but personally i still think if you're in ultimate mode and you're losing that much hp and you are obviously going to have to back out of the fight nonetheless so it's not going to be something that you realistically will gain as much a benefit from as you would do with odin glare so those are the ones i would pick i would stick to the left side so tactical cooldown to get minus five off your tactical and odin's glare to get double the duration on the tack full body scan this is really going to help your team but also yourself especially on those pushes that's everything i hope you've enjoyed like comment subscribe i'm going to shut up and i'll see you all in the next video